guys, it's Kelly and today I've got a very exciting swatch and review for you. We are looking at none other than Hollow Taco and their latest release which is called The Rainbow Collection and this actually just came out this weekend so all very new, all very exciting. I am especially excited about this collection. Let me tell you, when I swatched these I was shook but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's back up a second. If you guys haven't heard of Hollow Taco before, it is an independent nail polish brand that was actually created by YouTuber Christine of Simply Nail Logical. The polishes are cruelty free, they are vegan, and they are made and shipped in the US. So the brand actually started just about a year ago, and this is the first time that they have done a linear holographic polish. And whew, let me tell you, this formula is fantastic. We've got seven brand new shades. They are all full coverage linear holographic nail polishes, which means that they have those like lines of rainbow pigment throughout it and just in time for summer we've got the entire rainbow. So before I go ahead and spoil my thoughts on this collection let me just jump into the swatches. Roll footage! So as always I am going to be using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any staining. Today I'm going to be using the Hollow Taco long lasting base underneath all these swatches. So first up in the collection we have the shade Red Licorice and this is a really vibrant red linear hollow polish and wow the coverage on this one this is the first one I tried and it absolutely blew me away. This one was 100% a one coater on me and honestly there were a few one coaters in this collection which was really impressive but I am going to be showing you two coats of each one just in case and so you can see any differences but yeah it is an absolutely stunning one. It does seem a little tiny bit cool toned and I think that's just because with linear hollows especially in red it tends to shine a little bit blue which I feel like contributes to the way it feels a little cool toned and just a quick note about these hollows I did notice that the hollows showed up a little bit better once they were fully dry so I am going to be showing you guys all of these dry just so you can see the difference between when you first apply it and then once it dries and you can see that hollow come through. Next up we have the shade Orange Drink and this one is a medium toned orange linear hollow polish and this one to me it felt like more of a fall shade. I mean don't get me wrong this definitely works for the summer but when I see shades like this I immediately think of fall and like doing pumpkin manicures and stuff like that so I was really excited when I saw this one because I like shades that I can wear any time of year. This one was another one that was a one coater. It applied so smoothly and easily. I absolutely loved the formula on this. Some of them were slightly thicker than others but I feel like this one was just so smooth and easy to work with and again like I said it does look a little bit more hollow once it dries. This one in particular was pretty holographic anyway but once it dries you can see those like crazy rainbow lines on my nail so just another gorgeous shade. Next up we have the shade Lemon Sucker and this one is a bright yellow linear holographic polish. This one I feel like is even brighter on the nails than it looks in the bottle and it it slightly leans a little bit greenish. I feel like it almost has a little bit of a chartreuse vibe and I absolutely love it. I know sometimes people are apprehensive about wearing shades like these but I think it looks so cool and fun. I don't think I have any yellow linear hollows so I was really excited to add this one to my collection. This one was pretty opaque but I did need two coats just to get that full coverage and again it did have that really beautiful hollow payoff. I feel like it looks even more hollow on the nails than it does in the bottle as well which I feel like was consistent with a lot of the polishes in this collection. I feel like you get the full scope of the hollow once you see it dried on your nails like that's when it really starts to shine and look gorgeous but yeah absolutely love this one. Next up we have the shade Green Taffy which is a really beautiful emerald green linear holographic polish and if you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time you know that I feel very strongly about green nail polishes and that not enough brands do green nail polishes so I am very excited about this one and the formula again absolutely incredible. This one was totally a one coater for me but again I did end up throwing on a second coat just to show you guys but wow what a rich and beautiful shade. I am so obsessed with this. This is like the perfect foresty emerald green. I feel like you can wear this any time of year and the hollow is just so gorgeous on it. I think it looks even better once it's dry and I am just absolutely in love with this shade. They did an incredible job with this one. Next 
Next up we have the shade Blue Freezy and this one is a bright almost primary blue linear hollow and another absolutely gorgeous super creamy opaque shade. Like just look at that coverage. That is a one coater and I am so impressed. I do have short nails so you might need a second on these if you do have really long nails but honestly the coverage on this was absolutely amazing. So easy to work with. A little bit of a thicker formula which to me means it's going to be great for nail art as well and oh, just absolutely in love. Again just showing you guys what it looks like with a second coat but I would definitely wear this one as a one coater and these polishes aren't too thin that it like feels weird to only have one coat on your nails but yeah just another absolutely stunning shade. I love this one. Next up we have the shade Purple Slushy which is a really beautiful cool toned purple almost like an indigo shade with a linear holographic finish and this was the one I was arguably the most excited about and it did not disappoint. It is so stunning. I love that absolutely cool toned purple and again the formula was really great. As you can see it was actually already starting to dry when I was applying it onto my nails and I was going just a little bit too slow but I feel like that just shows you guys how incredibly quickly these polishes dry. That was another thing that really impressed me about this collection. I feel like they were so quick drying my nails pretty much fully set within like a half hour of me applying them which just made it so easy to work with and I really loved it but yeah this shade absolutely gorgeous like look at that hollow coming through oof what a beautiful it's like almost like a royal looking shade I love it this is my favorite and last but not least we have the shade magenta jelly which despite the name is actually not a jelly this one is another full coverage linear holographic polish and this one is just a really stunning rich almost like neon looking fuchsia shade and another one that was super gorgeous this one was nearly a one coater for me but it was a little bit lighter on the first coat so I did end up needing to throw on a second for it. But yeah just another really beautiful shade. I love the cohesiveness of this collection. I appreciate that they're all the same finish which I just feel like makes a collection more viable just as a whole for me so I totally love that and I think they're just really fun to wear together but this one just ugh, absolutely blew me away. I love purple nail polishes. I love hollow nail polishes and I feel like this is just the perfect combination of both. That's another one that just had such a rich hollow shine through. So those are all the polishes on their own. However, I wanted to also show you guys some layering action. I've talked about it before, but my favorite thing about Holo Taco has always been the layering possibilities. Well, before this collection, I, I think this is actually my favorite thing that they've done so far, but they have a lot of really exciting toppers that you can kind of mix and match. There are six different toppers and we have seven polishes that I just went over. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the polishes with those toppers on them. So we've got the three different hollow toppers and then we have three unicorn skin toppers which are iridescent flakies. So let me show you that. So like I said, I just picked one topper for each color just to show you guys, but of course you can mix and match with any of them or multiple of them. So starting off with the shade Red Licorice and I just threw on the Scattered Hollow Taco. And as you can see, it just adds a little bit of like a scattered hollow effect on top of the already linear hollow. So if you wanna double down on the hollow, this is a really great topper for any of the linear hollows. Next, I am showing you the shade Orange Drink with a linear hollow taco over it. Now keeping in mind that there already is linear hollow pigment inside the base nail polish, it doesn't change the polish that much. So it might add a little bit of hollow, but in this case, I would save the linear hollows for over non hollow polishes. Next, I am showing you guys Lemon Sucker with the flaky hollow taco over it. And this is another one that's just kind of adding a different variation of hollow to the already hollow nails. So it's always just a fun little combo and the Fleeky Hollow is actually my favorite of the three, so I absolutely love this one. <laughs> So moving on to the unicorn skin finishes, which is their iridescent flaky toppers. I am showing you guys green taffy with the solar unicorn skin over it. And I love this combo. There's just something about it that feels like, I don't know, like, why does it remind me of buried treasure? I'm not hundred percent sure, but I totally love it. I feel like this looks like an entirely new polish in itself. And the cool thing about the unicorn skins is they look different over each color. So moving on to the cosmic unicorn skin and I topped this one over blue freezy and this is a 
another one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I feel like any of the unicorn skins will look amazing over any of these polishes and have a completely different effect, but I really love this combo of like blue with the purple flakies on it. I feel like it just looks so unique and special and pretty. I don't know. I love this combo. Next up, I am showing you guys the Aurora unicorn skin and I am topping that over purple slushy and this one is actually kind of like a purpley blue reflect in there. So it doesn't look too drastic of a difference over this purple, but I feel like it just kind of adds to it and elevates the polish even more if that's possible. So like I said, I just picked randomly, but you can mix and match whatever ones you want. And for the last shade, since there is a seventh polish in this collection, I decided I'm just going to do a little double combo. So first I started off with the Aurora unicorn skin because that is my favorite of the unicorn skins. And then I decided to top that with a scattered hollow taco. So wanted to see what it looked like with a linear hollow base and Aurora unicorn skin over it and then the scattered hollow taco on top of that. And the result here is honestly a little overwhelming, but I totally love it for some reason. I feel like it just looks crazy and it makes me want to do a bunch of layering and a bunch of different combos just to see what kind of crazy combinations I can come up with. I feel like this looks, I don't know, like crazy gems in a cave. I don't know. I'm, my imagination is pretty wild. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, the possibilities are really limitless. You can play around and mix and match, which I think is so fun. And I just feel like that's such a cool thing. I've never seen it before with brands and I, I feel like that's just a really awesome thing that makes this brand different. So I really love that. But that being said, this is by far my favorite thing that Holo Taco has done so far. These formulas really blew me away. I loved the opacity. These were almost all one coaters on me. I feel like the polishes look so much better on the nail than they do in the bottle. When I got them, I didn't really see that much of a linear shift. But once I put them on my nail, I feel like it came out a lot more and it looked a lot more vibrant. So I don't know. I just feel like it's hard to even capture because I feel like, and they look so much better in real life than they do on camera too. So I don't know. They're just really good. This is definitely the best that I think Holo Taco has done so far. I love all of the releases that they have done, but honestly, this one tops all of them and it helps that I really love rainbows. So this is the perfect collection for me. But yeah, so let's talk about pricing, availability, all that good stuff. Like I said, these polishes are made and shipped from the US, but they do have international shipping on their Holo Taco website. These polishes are slightly more expensive than their usual product at $14 USD per 12 milliliter bottle. They also did briefly have these little holographic collectors boxes available on the website. Unfortunately, they already sold out. I don't think they're going to be doing any more, but if you were one of the lucky people to snag this box, then it's just a really cool little collector's item. It's got a lot of hollow in it and I don't know, it's just really pretty. <laughs> so yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Which color is your favorite? What do you think of this release? Which of the releases are your favorite so far? Because this one is definitely my favorite. I would love to hear from you and I answer all my comments. So leave them down below. If you enjoyed this swatch and review, please give this one a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put on new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. That's it for this one. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So fun fact, I don't know if you guys know this, but <laughs> every Holo Taco release that has come out so far, when I reviewed it, I have had a different hair color for each one. So for the first release that they ever came out with, I had red hair. For their holiday release, I had yellow hair. For their most recent unicorn skin release, I had maybe blue hair, I think. And now I've got very faded purple hair. So I hope I can keep up this trend. Oh, fun fact number two, I have a whole rainbow skittle manicure going on using these polishes. I have been really lately getting into doing a skittle of the collections that I show. So I'm going to start posting those on Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and you'll see my skittle nail polishes. So you can see more of that. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.